So, I don't know how many of you follow me on Twitter, but those of you who do will have probably spotted some interesting developments recently. Now, my good friend Blake sent Aaron a series of messages on Twitter asking him, oh, well, kind of ceaselessly harassing him, actually, to bring back No DQ Arena, which was awesome, by the way, and I would fully support its return. Things got a little out of hand, and before you knew it, everyone was making suggestions for things we'd like to see come back. Now, naturally and predictably, I made it clear I'd love to see a return for No DQ CAW, and people agreed. Eventually, poor beleaguered Aaron admitted that if 2K were to bring a new WWE game to a Nintendo console, he would do a reunion show for No DQ CAW. Within days, a Switch version was confirmed, and Aaron didn't back out of anything, tweeting out from his personal account the message No DQ CAW Never Say Never Hashtag WWE 2K18. Now, it's not entirely clear whether Aaron was merely telling us to never say never about the possibility of a return for no DQ CAW on the 2K series. The capitalization, however, suggests never say never could be the name of a mega event, which personally I think is a great name for a mega event debuting almost 10 years since the previous one. Let's assume Never Say Never is the name of the Mega Event, and let's assume it's a reunion show, so potentially a one-off. We have no other info currently, so I'll have to speculate in a really clickbaity and awful way. So let's do exactly that and see what we can reasonably expect. Bear in mind, I have no say over the writing or booking of the show. I'm entirely speculating as a fan at this point. Now, it's practically a given that at least one of the horror icons will be on the show. Jason is almost a dead cert as one of NoDQ CAW's top baby faces and a personal favourite of Aaron's. Likewise, it would beg a belief to think Superman wouldn't feature, and it seems likely Luigi would be in the main event, especially as he was conspicuous by his absence during the Bragging Rights Mega event. We could, in theory, see a debut or two. I believe Aaron has previously expressed he would likely use Walter White as a newcomer to the roster. We still have a couple of storylines that didn't feel like they reached their conclusion. The Terminators still need proper revenge on the Simpsons, the tag titles are vacant, Spider-Man's character transformation is largely untapped. Any, all, or none of these could be touched upon at a future show. A lot of these factors depend on whether the reunion would be a one-off deal, or whether it could lead into something more, a season 10 and beyond, which is why we fans need to show our love and support to let Aaron know there is a fan base here for more No DQ CAW. We haven't seen anything new from our favourite CAW league in almost a decade, and we are clamouring for more. For what it's worth, out of respect to Aaron, I would put a delay on uploading new content to this channel until enough people had seen it on its original hosting location, whether that be on NoDQ.com or here on YouTube. Eventually everything will be hosted here along with the rest of the catalogue, but I'm not a believer in stealing hits. In the meantime, I want to know what you guys think might happen at the future NoDQ CAW Mega Event, and moreover, what you would like to see. I can't promise Aaron will see anything you guys come up with, but I'd love to get some discussion going for a future video. That's all for now, but stay tuned and we'll bring you more news as it comes. Thanks for listening. Right, now we need to nudge Wade into reuploading all of Slam and Jam for download. I'm kidding, I'm just kidding, Wade, don't worry. <laughs>